if you want to add Keybridge to an existing configuration on your Skyhawk controller, all you need to do is to add the raw panel device core to your controller and you can integrate it with Keybridge. It works like this. Press online configuration in the firmware updater to get to the online configuration of your current controller. This controller is set up for switching ATEM switches. We go to the advanced tab. Here we add devices. Select raw panel. Save the settings. Go back to controller configuration. And now what you need to do is to pick the keys or the knobs that you want to assign over to Keybridge. I'll take two on the program preview row of the LiveFly. So I click button eight and also the one called MP. I then remove the actions associated with the ATEM switcher and instead I choose the action associated with raw panel here. Then I copy and paste it to the other key. That's all I need to do. I can now save the settings, go back to my firmware application and update the firmware. The firmware is now updated on the live fly and you can see the two keys I assigned to raw panel doesn't light up anymore. And I did not set the IP address of Keybridge, so I need to enter into IP configuration, enable raw panel device core, type in the IP address of Keybridge, save the settings, and now the controller will reboot and connect to Keybridge. All we need to do is to go to devices and look out for the Skyhoy Livefly to connect to Keybridge. There we go. All we need now is to approve and then we can go to macros, create a new macro, we can go to train mode and notice as I press this button it appears in Keybridge and I can now assign actions to it.